Hey everybody, Dave here from Tress Studios and today I'm going to be dealing with some poison ivy and I was dealing with it all day yesterday uh, but I wanted to share some of my thoughts and my tips and uh, tricks for dealing with it. Um, most people, we're more afraid of it than we probably have to be although you do have to be very careful but if you're very careful and you follow the proper ways of dealing with it you can really um, you know, work with mitigating your poison ivy problem. Um, I don't use any sprays or chemicals. I don't, I don't like to use anything that's going to end up in our water supply or somewhere down the road have some kind of problems. Um, and I don't think they work that well. I think, you know, what it does is it'll kill the plant on the top, but usually poison ivy has such an incredible root structure, as you guys will see in my, in my work here, uh, that it won't really kill it. It'll come back, you know. It may, it may keep it at bay for, for the season or you know but it's gonna be back unless you keep on spraying which is expensive and maybe not so good for us or the environment um, so my, my recommendation is pull it out just keep pulling it out and eventually after enough seasons you know you'll have it under some good control if you keep up with it uh, anyway I'll show you what I did and then uh, I'll show you my cleanup methods it's one of the rules is don't touch anything you don't have to when you're working with poison ivy uh, you'll see I got a, a coverall suit on so this comes off before I go in the house they say that regular washing will take care of the poison ivy oil on your clothes my wife is still a little hesitant about that um, yesterday when we did this job I threw away the clothes you know I just um, had clothes that I didn't care about uh, you know wear long sleeves I wear the um, disposable gloves inside of work gloves and um, yeah don't touch your face don't touch anything the tools have to be cleaned when you're done we're gonna clean the tools with um, uh, rubbing alcohol on a rag and make sure you use friction you don't just spray it on I've seen some people just spray it on uh, one of the most important things in dealing with poison ivy is that you want to make sure that you use friction like the oils in poison ivy take about three hours to work on us to give us the rash so that's the other thing is I limit my time to no more than two hours in working with the poison ivy and then go inside and wash doesn't matter which soap you use it just matters that you use a lot of friction a good washcloth or loafah and do it three times head to toe um, if you've been in a big patch like where I'm going into today um, I'll show you guys I did most of it yesterday but I'll show you guys some of it and then um, you know I'll show you how I rip it up uh, the best thing is to try to get it out by the roots because I, I mostly just cut it yesterday and I'm gonna have to try to go in and get some of the roots today because it was mixed in with all kinds of other uh, bittersweet and other weeds and stuff behind my studio but anyway guys let me set this camera up and show you a little patch that I'll, uh, I'll work on. If you work with it carefully and properly, I can assure you, you won't get it. Um, of course, if you're someone with really, really bad allergies to it, have someone else do it. Um, I get it as bad as the average person. My wife gets it very bad, so I don't want her near the poison ivy. Um, but that said, if she's out here working on the other area that's not supposed to have poison ivy, um, you know she still takes the same precautions in case she runs into it anyway let me show you some of this so we're coming out here and under under all this here that is poison ivy and it's all over through here that's all poison ivy that's all poison ivy all up on there and um, you know I gotta get this back too because it's getting near the fence there and my neighbor does get it bad I don't want him to get it um, this pile right here is pretty much all poison ivy that I got that's all in back all in back here in my studio we still got to get back in there anyway guys let me set this up and get my gloves Okay guys, fixed the problem of the wrist exposed. I uh, 
sacrificed a pair of socks and just cut the upper part off. So that'll help keep the wrist exposure minimized. So worth a pair of socks. There's just so much of it, guys. Man. Just try to follow these lines. They break. You just do the best you can to get as much as you can. There we go. The root here. That's not broke. I'm going to try to find it again. There's a different one. You'll never get all of it out, but the more roots you get out, the better. And then I may come over and I have a tool that you use, like a crown claw, and it turns. And it will it will uh, pull up a lot of those roots and get them exposed, so you can pull them out. So now I'm back. I, I took my shower. I scrubbed head to toe three times even though I was clothed up good and protected. My clothes are over here on the chair which will go into the washing machine with my gloved hands. I have alcohol wipes uh, that I'm going to be cleaning everything up with. You can also have a bottle of alcohol with a sprayer on it and make sure you you know rub it off with a cloth or a rag. Um, but basically I gotta pop these open. Alcohol is supposed to um, is supposed to take the oils off. So you know, just um, I'm not sure. I think the 75% alcohol will be enough, but I still won't handle my tools without the uh, without the gloves on. Anything that I've used for the poison ivy, I won't handle. And uh, oh, these wipes smell pretty good, huh? Yeah, <laughs> so. These, these alcohol wipes actually smell pretty good. Anyway, so what you want to do is, you know, I use these, these clippers, so wipe and rub the, the entire handles. You know, I went into my studio with the gloves on that I had touched poison ivy, so I got to go clean my doorknob. <laughs> um, because poison ivy oils will stay on surfaces for months. So a lot of times we don't get the poison ivy from the plant. We get it from having touched the plant, you know, with gloves on or whatever, and then touch something else, like our tools or, you know, the doorknob or anything, really. You know, and a lot of times we get it from our pets because they're running through it. Sorry about the shadow and the, the lighting is not great, but I just wanted to um, put this out there for you guys so you know to be careful to clean up everything really well. So I'm going to go do the rake, the rake handle. Um, I won't worry about the tines on the rake. 
and my big cutters that I was using yesterday all that stuff anyway that's it for me for today hope you guys are all well hope you don't have a big poison ivy patch like I have to deal with but uh, it's smaller now thankfully and will continue to get smaller because I'm gonna keep pulling it out anyway guys remember take care of yourself take care of each other and I will see you next time bye bye